Welcome to the Knox video training series. In this video, we'll show you how IT admins can set up and manage Knox Capture for business apps on a Galaxy X Cover Pro. Let's begin. Before you begin, you'll first need to obtain a Samsung Galaxy X Cover Pro device and download and install the Samsung Knox Capture app from the Google Play Store for use on your X Cover Pro device. The first time you launch Knox Capture, you'll see terms and conditions for Samsung first. Upon your consent, you'll also need to agree to partner terms and conditions. Next, you'll see the home screen with a list of Knox Capture profile configurations, including the default scanning profile that comes with Knox Capture. Below the profile list, you'll see a set of tip cards with information about different tasks, including profile creation. Let's create a new scanning profile. You can either duplicate an existing profile or create a new profile from scratch. In this example, We'll create a new profile without relying on duplication. Tap on Create Profile. Enter a name, then tap Done. Now select the device apps and Android activities to associate with your new profile. From the Select Application screen to be filled with barcode data on screen, scroll down and tap the name of an app. For this example, we'll select Samsung Internet. Tap the Wand button in the upper right of the screen to launch the Visual Selection tool to select the step of barcode data fill-in in in your target app. If this is the first time you've opened the tool, you'll see a pop-up with instructions. Tap anywhere on the screen to advance through the pop-ups. Select the activity you want to do with the app. Tap Done, then Confirm to exit. Repeat this process for each app and activity to include in the profile. When done, tap the Create Profile button at the bottom of the screen. Now it's time to configure Knox Capture. On the main profile settings screen, tap Scan Engine Settings. Verify the selected barcode symbologies by tapping Barcode Types, then scroll to review the selected types. Modify them as needed. When finished, tap Save. Once you've finished configuring Scan Engine Settings, Tap on the back arrow in the upper left of the screen to go back to the main profile settings page. Next, we'll set the keystroke output rules. In this example, we'll set rules to append an enter keystroke to scan data as your required format. Doing so will automatically initiate the barcode search in the Samsung Internet browser once Knox Capture sends the scanned barcode data. First, let's ensure that all entries get sent as key events. In the profile settings screen, under keystroke output, Select Send Enter Character As. In the Options pop-up, select Key Event, then Save. Next, append an Enter key to the scanned data. Next to Basic Data Formatting, tap the down arrow to expand the menu. Scroll down to Append Enter Character and move the toggle to the On position. You've now set rules to append an Enter key event to scan barcode data. Tap the back arrow in the upper left of the screen to return to the home screen and save your profile. It's a good idea to test your configuration after setting your Knox Capture profiles. In this example, we'll test the configuration for Samsung Internet. Go back to the Knox Capture home screen and start test mode by tapping the More Actions icon next to the Profiles label and selecting Test Apps. You should see a system notification indicating Test Mode is on. Tap Open next to Samsung Internet. Note the blue test overlay in the Open Apps UI. The overlay shows the name of the Android activity in focus and the Knox Capture profile the in focus activity belongs to. This is the profile that defines the scanning settings and keystroke output rules for the in focus activity. Press the Scan Trigger Hardware key to open the camera for scanning. Aim the camera at the barcode. The barcode is automatically scanned once in focus unless your scan settings specify differently. Expand the overlay by tapping its down arrow icon for a complete view of the test data. Compare the scan data to the output value to ensure you've set the correct keystroke output rules and scanning settings. After testing the app, you should see a green check mark next to the Samsung Internet App logo on the Test App screen. Next, you can share or deploy your configuration with other devices. In the lower right of the home screen, tap the floating blue button to open the Share Options menu. In the Share Options menu, Tap the email option. Select an email app to start a new message with the configuration added as a text file attachment. After sending the email, relaunch Knox Capture. You should see a notification near the top of the screen showing when you last shared your configuration. 
open the email from your work machine and upload the configuration to your EMM console to deploy it through Managed Google Play. You've now set a basic configuration to use Knox Capture on corporate devices. This concludes our demonstration on how to get started with using Knox Capture. For more information on Knox Capture or on getting started with different Knox services, visit docs.samsungnox.com. Thanks for watching.